it's good baby face official gang it's your girl baby face yanni back here again with a little bang video now before you have said to today's video make sure you like comment subscribe to my sketches zone follow me on my social media social box down below or it'll be up on the screen also it is free get me to 300 subscribers i'm on the i'm i'm heading i'm getting there also i will be doing merch real soon probably like when i hit 300 400 subscribers i'll probably do a merch i'm working on the process um so today's topic is story time about how i got used and played now this happened this is just like my first relationship with a female about how i got used and played so i advise y'all to sit back relax and enjoy this whole story time i hope y'all like this story time and if you do give us a thumbs up also um turn the sketches turn the bell on and don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe so it's my freshman year it's my first girlfriend ever and I had just got a relationship with a guy and this girl been liking me for a while and I didn't know that until she was calling me her bae for bae or whatever, her bae or whatever. And so I told her that I had a, I had a, that I was talking, I was in a relationship with the time and she didn't know that. So then that's when she started calling me her bae friend or whatever. And yeah, I did kind of get feelings for the girl, but at the same time I was still in the relationship. And I was, at, the, at that point I was already giving up with my relationship that I was, I was in. You feel me? Because the person was doing too much and just accused, just just doing too much, and so I got tired of it. So that's when, a couple of days later, I broke up with the dude, and I told the girl why I did that, and I told, and I told, and the people and the boy, and my friends, my friends and his friends wanted to know why I broke up with him because, for one, I'm not finna sit up here and be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't know what they want, that, that doesn't know what they're doing, that doesn't know what they want. That's over here texting other females, entertaining other females. And I don't like that. You feel me? That's not, that's not, I'm not into guys anymore. That's not me. That's the old me. But as that's, that is, that is what happened basically on a story time. And so, so yeah, after I woke up with him, I did, me and her, we did start talking. We, I did start catching feelings for her. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna, be, I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a good relationship, but nah. That's something that you don't. That's this is something that you don't do to me because I got people that gonna that, that's gonna tell me something. I got I got stuff. I got people everywhere that you don't that you might not know about. And also, I stuff get back to me, and also I peep stuff. I peep everything. So if you try to do something behind my back, just know I'm gonna know about it before you before you even try to do something. But like I was saying, so me and a girl end up getting a relationship a couple of days later, and. It was we was we was good. It was good. everything was going smooth. Everything was going good. She fell in love with me. I had feelings for her. I didn't fall in love with her at the moment until until I let the whole the the whole thing um, soak in, sink in or whatever. And so that's when everything started to happen quickly, to where she would ask for money. For as for Monday, as of buying going to the mall, I was every other Saturday, and it was just it was just hit me like, what do you need to go to the mall every other Saturday for? Like, what are you buying? As if and it's like a, as if I'm giving this girl like a hundred, two hundred dollars every other Saturday, but I'll give her I'll give her fifty a piece. But that was just one point in time where I did give her three hundred dollars, and she blew it on stupid the stupidest shit i've ever seen or i've ever seen anybody buy before over clothes that's not that's that's inappropriately that that is not for her that is that she should not be wearing outside of school or outside of her house i mean outside of her house she was she was most likely wearing her to school and that if you're doing that that means that's showing me that you're not really good for material you feel me that's showing me that you're just doing that just to do it and that, that's showing me that you're a thigh or player or a hoe and you're trying to show off and trying to trying to get others to look at you while you're in a relationship i don't like that i don't do that i don't talk about that at all and so it was like people was like she is she's a gold digger and i was like i'm, I'm i did, i wasn't believing it at first until until it's until it hit me as if when our one month anniversary we went to the mall, went to the movies. 
Hey, we went, to, we went out to eat. Everything was good that day. Something might have, something might have happened that day. That the on that the all night one month anniversary that I have never done to any female, to anybody before, or no, to any female before. That was my first time doing it, anyways. No, I didn't eat her out. It was something I fingered her basically in the movies, and so we almost like hit that because she was moaning loud or whatever. But at the same time, after the mall, after the after the um the day. I, she, I get text messages blowing my phone. She's like, she's blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up, constantly saying, "Baby, baby, baby, I need money, I need money." And I'm looking like, I just gave you money. So like, what you need money for? Like, did you, did you didn't did you just have money like Saturday? And it's not only it's only nothing but just freaking Sunday. That's the next day. So like, how did you spend all the money in one day? That's what I'm not understanding. And so it was like, it started to hit me to where my homeboys will be like, yo, she's playing you. She's doing all this just to use you for your money, stuff like that. And me being a dumb, me being a dummy, I wouldn't, I did not believe neither one, I did not believe anybody. I wanted to, I wanted to find it for myself. And at the point in time, I did find it for myself after, after we broke up. I, we, I broke, she broke up, well, we broke up because she thought I was cheating on her with my best friend, my own best friend that is straight as hell. And so, but the fact is, she believed the person that she was supposed to fight, saying that I was trying, that I was fighting with my own best friend. My best friend doesn't even like girls. And the, the fact is, the fact that you believe in the girl that she was finna fight over me, that's just that's just showing me that you're petty and childish. That's just showing me kiddie stuff, basically. And so I didn't like that. So of course I broke up with her. Then me and my home, me and my homeboy, me and my homie got into it. It was, it was close, 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 close. We still is close, but we got into it. And it's just like, ever since that little incident happened, we had, we had fell off, but then we got, but then we, but then we got back on our shit. You feel me? It's always ten toes, it's always ten toes down behind her. You feel me? Like that's, that's my brother till, till I, till I die. I'm like dead ass, I'm not playing. But after, after we, after we broke up, I moved on to another relationship. A couple months later, and. She she ended up finding out, and then that's when she ended up telling my family members, my cousins, my friends, my homies, and all them saying that she wanted me back, and saying that she and they telling me she still she still on my chain with my name on it and stuff like that, and they said they telling me that oh how I just I just seen her the other day talking about you to her family and stuff like that, and I'm looking like if we're not together why are you still talking why are you still talking about me to your family, so that's basically showing that you that you still got feelings with me but you said that you did it. So, where well, I, I was not understanding that, and so me looking at the situation like, oh, she probably do want to get back to me, big up, big, get back with me. So I didn't end up breaking up with the girl I was with because she was doing too much, and I couldn't handle that because she was trying to do a lot of extra stuff, far as hurting people, and I couldn't do that. I said no. I gave up on that relationship, and I was just single, and that's when my ex started to come back on to me, and it just brought back the memories that we had when we first before before before, 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 even, before even our um one man anniversary and so we did ended up talking or again we did end up talking we was going to get back together but she kept asking for the same thing and i didn't like that so i just left her alone now still to this day do i do do i believe she still has feelings for me yes do i believe she still wants to get back with me i don't know do i want to get back with her no because you have to be we had to be mature enough to show me that you're willingly just to be with me just just for me not just my money you feel me i don't like that and it's not it's, i don't got a problem giving you money but you constantly asking money for money you constantly ask me for money and money and money it's the fact like no i don't do that and you constantly blowing in money the day i give it to you like who does that like, I could, I could see if you was, if you was, if you was buying for some, for some shoes or some clothes or some underwear or something, but no, you buying it on literally the, the stupidest shit I've ever seen, like junk, toys, like, I mean, I said toys, junk and all types of stuff like that, and inappropriate clothes, like, what? And so it's like, wow. And so it's like, she made promises to me, and like, so I'm like, bro, how you make, I'm like, so I'm like, how, how you make promises, but then you lie, but then lie about the shit? And it's as if, yeah, I did want her to be my girlfriend 
for the rest of well not for the rest of my i did yeah i did at a, at a certain point i did want to be my guest my girlfriend for the rest of my life but as if i started to feel I, I started to peep stuff i started to peep shit, i started to peep this this and that and my homeboys and i was telling me and i just would listen to them and i feel bad and i feel bad for them and i apologize to them for that but they they accept my apology but they my homeboys go always go my back they, my homies and my homeboys go always go my back in the, the day but what i don't tolerate is you trying to use me for my money or anything like that not to be rude i'm not i'm not throwing i'm not bash i'm not trying to bash you or throw straight at you but that's just a pussy ass move you feel me because you telling because you lying and saying that you want me for me but you basically ask me for my money and you're just using me now i know this is old but still y'all ask you ask for a story time i'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to y'all still to this day she still wants me not well i don't know if she still wants me or not so to this day i think she still has feelings for me i don't know but i peep shit we was we was kind of talking again sometime well 2019 before 2020 started but something happened to where i said no because i don't do that type, i don't do that type of stuff when you like expose your own self and like you go all over social media and stuff like that and then you just all over the place and i can't do that i can't be unless with some with a thought or anything like that you feel me but that's just not me and that's all i got to say about it because i'm not finna sit up here and say a whole book about it but if you guys enjoyed this video i hope you did i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe to my notification zone follow me on my social media subscribe down below or on the screen and merch is coming soon on the road through subscribers and i'm out peace